And now to the death of an aspiring young artist in Miami. This morning, his family is blaming police. He died after officers tased him while chasing him down for vandalism. ABC's Aditi Roy has the story. This morning, the parents of 18-year-old Israel Hernandez are asking for an independent investigation into their son's sudden death. They say the 18-year-old lived for his art and died doing it. Killed, they say, when police shot him in the chest with a stun gun Tuesday. We don't know exactly what happened. Uh, we don't know if protocols were followed. We, we, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Miami Beach police say officers caught the award-winning artist spray painting graffiti on an abandoned building. After chasing him down, police say he ran towards them and that's when they tased him. They were making fun of how he tensed up when he got tased. They were just laughing. Hernandez later died at the hospital. The medical examiner says more tests are pending and has not yet released a cause of death. The initial police report never mentions the tasing. Instead, the incident appeared in a statement a day later, with Miami Beach police offering their condolences to the family of Israel Hernandez. But for family and friends of Hernandez, who held a vigil overnight, it is not enough. Trayvon Martin's all over the world. This kid needs to be all over the world. He was doing nothing but expressing himself. They say the promising young artist didn't have any health conditions that could be blamed for his death. My brother's dead, isn't he? Of course, they went too far. For Good Morning America, Aditi Roy, ABC News, New York.